Hey everybody, what's going on? Prisms here, and we are finally here with the first Game Builder Garage tutorial. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to give a little overview on how to make a, a basic ladder. So this is an action, so it's just a flat ladder. There's no animation of the character actually climbing or anything. I didn't bother programming that in. That's on you if you want to do that. This is just entirely about how to create this little ladder and give it the effect of like a 2D side scroller, platformer, ladder physics, but pretty easy tutorial, but something that I haven't really seen anyone explain yet and I thought I'd make a little video on it and it'd be a good way to start off these tutorials. So I already have everything created in here, but I'm gonna go, to go ahead and break it down piece by piece to explain how you guys can do it yourself and implement it into your own games. So I already started laying it out here just to get us, you know, preoccupied, but let me break it down. So spawn in your person, objects, characters, person. And you wanna go ahead and map up and down and left and right to your character so that you're able to function around. Very self-explanatory. Next, you wanna spawn in the camera, objects, game screen, camera. And you wanna do the same thing that you just did for the character movement, except for the camera movement. And you wanna use the right stick you can use any you know stick combination you want. I personally use left and right because that's obviously the most controllable for your camera. And now having this spawned in, you should be good to go. Last thing you want to do is connect the camera and connect the person so that the camera follows your character. And I already have my camera settings preset for this, so I'll go and explain this. So this is gonna, when this gets connected, this is all gonna be zero. I have my Y set to 1.2 and my Z set to 3.5. That gives us nice distance specifically for this tutorial. I'm gonna go ahead and also map jump to my character. This isn't necessary, maybe it is for your game, but I'm just gonna go ahead and do it anyways. So I'm gonna use B for this example. We're gonna map it to jump. And now we have a functioning character. So we already have a few things created here. So I'm gonna go ahead and explain this next. So you want to create a box right off the bat or whatever you want. I use a box here and this is going to be the surface that our ladder is going to rest on. So I have a nice tall box created there and that's good to go. I have my ladder texture already created. Again, this is all going to be stuff you can do on your own if you even want to create a texture. But next, what we want to do is, the, I'm going to explain how this works. So the way that this ladder really works is that it's gonna mark that your character is touching the ladder and I have it mapped to up and down. You can have it mapped to whatever button you want, but I have it mapped to up and down on the left stick. And what's gonna happen is when I'm touching the ladder and I'm holding up, I'm gonna slide up the ladder as if I'm climbing the ladder. So the way we're gonna do this is you're gonna spawn in a touch sensor, object, sensor, touch sensor, and you wanna go ahead and you wanna size it to however big you want it, in this case, I want it to be the entirety of this wall that I created. And you wanna make sure that it is the same size. And you also wanna make sure that it's aligned on both views, overhead and the other one, side view. And for this specific example, I have the properties. I have it visible for now, just to show you. You wanna make sure the output timing is while touched and you wanna make sure it checks for the person. So now that this is set up, we're good to go. And I'm gonna go ahead and now link my texture of the actual ladder to the box. Now we have our ladder on the wall. When you connect it, it's gonna be showing up on all sides on this texture face. I have mine set to X minus, which is the side that is facing me. You can set it to whatever you want. In this case, I'm only explaining it on one side. So if you wanna be applying this to all sides, you would have to repeat the process for each side. But in this case, I'm only showing this one side. So now that it's connected, we have our touch sensor, everything's good to go. Now we wanna make sure that our character can actually, you know, slide up the ladder. So we want to create a moving object. So this is under special objects, moving objects. And in this scenario, I'm creating a box. So after you spawn this in, you wanna connect your person to this box. And you should have something like this. So make sure the box is nice and small. It doesn't really matter, but you want to turn all of this off. Just want it to be movable. 
and you want the mode to be on you want the mode to be on speed, not acceleration. I'll explain this why in a little bit. But now it's gone. It's almost like nothing's there. So here's how we're actually going to make this slide up. So we want the ladder in this case to register that we're touching it and when we push up on it we're going to slide up like i showed you at the beginning so what we're going to do here is we're going to spawn in the up and down input again from the left stick and we're going to go to middle logic and we're going to create an and node on now what we're going to do is we're going to connect up and down here and we want to connect the touching sensor to it as well now what this is going to do is if we are touching the ladder and pressing up and down at the same time, it's going to create an output. Now what we want to do from here is map that movable object and the ladder together. So what we're going to do here is we're going to use the map node on. So this is in convert map. And what we're going to do here is if I can grab this. Well, why can't I not grab this? Perfect. Okay. Take the AND node on, connect it to the map, and we're gonna go into the map node on settings. Now, this is what it's gonna be on default. The input range can stay here, but the output range, we're gonna change up a little bit. So we wanna set it to zero. And for this tutorial, I'm gonna set it to three. The reason behind this is that the higher this goes, the higher the output value goes, the faster you're gonna scale the ladder. So keeping it at three is probably the best range to put it. I mean, you can experiment with it. There's really no correct way to do it. It does not really matter. But that's really all we need to do here. So now that we have this created, everything's set up, all we need to do is map the output of this map to the Y coordinate on this moving object. And as you can see, when we get to the ladder, we're gonna slide up like that. And that's really all there is to this. So now obviously the touch sensor is still visible as you can see by the wireframe. So we can click on the touch sensor and we can get rid of visible. And really that's it. So now you have a fully functioning ladder and this is very customizable. There's a lot more stuff you can do with this but this is just a very, very basic tutorial. And I wanna go ahead and show you what happens when you don't tweak these other settings. So if we go to map and let's go ahead and set this to 10, you're gonna see that you're gonna scale the ladder a lot faster. So this is where that customization I was telling you comes in handy because you can tweak it to your liking. I personally think three is a good fit. And if you go to your character and the movable object, the reason you set this to speed is that it goes at a constant rate that that map outputs. If you set it to acceleration, it's gonna start slow and it's gonna fling you off it like this. And if you have it mapped even higher than three, you are just gonna skyrocket to the ceiling. So always, always, always make sure this is set to speed. And really other than that, that's really all there is to it. I'm sure you guys can be really creative with this. There's a lot of ways to implement this. This is very, very beginner stuff, but I'm sure a lot of you, if you're creating games, are gonna wanna implement a ladder into some sort of it. I know I'm gonna implement a ladder into a game I'm working on. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this really quick tutorial. It's just very basic. If you guys enjoy this, leave a comment, drop a like, maybe consider subscribing. New videos are coming out very soon, but until then guys, have a good one. Thanks for watching.